you so much for watching K9 Kate. I'm Kate, and I am in the Puppy Palace at South Salem Elementary School. This is where Booker hangs out. Booker is a therapy dog, and shh, he lives in the library. But in about a week, he's going to New York City to compete in the Westminster Dog Show. Booker T. Pug, therapy dog. I love Booker because he's a smart dog. He seems really smart. Um, he just like sits and listens. The search for Booker began. And it was a long search because I needed a very specific dog. I needed a dog that was small and non-threatening. So I found a breeder in Ohio and she donated him to this program. She donated him? She donated him, yep. And how old is he? He's three. His birthday's on New Year's Day. Happy birthday, <laughs> so, Mr. So Booker. he just turned three. I read books to him, and sometimes when I have good weeks, I come down Friday, and I get to walk him around the gym. Is he sleeping right now? <laughs> I needed to get a therapy dog certification on him. It's quite an um, in-depth process. Then we went and took a test, and those tests are about four hours long, <laughs> and they're very in-depth, and only about 10% of the dogs that take them actually become certified. What types so, of things do they do in the test? Some of the things they do are um, having people in wheelchairs and walkers, having ch children run around him, throwing balls. They drop containers with pennies in it to make a very loud noise to see if he reacts to it. Um, so lots of things like that. The other thing that's really hard for a lot of dogs is they put a lot of treats on the floor and you have to walk through them without any, any contact on the leash and they have to be able to ignore it just by you telling them to. So yes, I know. <laughs> So, so, I don't um, think I could do that. I don't like, know. <laughs> room full of cupcakes. Right. <laughs> He's like the funniest, cutest dog ever. It took eight months to find the right dog, but I knew right, right when I got him that he was perfect for the job. Everybody loves him because he's a smart dog. The best thing is that he offers a non judgmental being that students can read to. If they get a word wrong, he's not going to tell them. Um, if they have a speech impediment, he's not going to make fun of them. He's just simply there to listen. Do the kids really react well to that? Yes, they do. Um, we have students who, before coming in to read to him, you, you can barely get them to read anything out loud. And after a few sessions with him, they fr they're freely reading out loud with him. That's amazing. It is. It really is. And then talk to me about the second component, that he's a, a very famous show dog. He is. I don't know about famous, but he is a show dog. His breeder had started showing him. So when she donated him, I said, I'll try and go for his championship title. <laughs> and so we did, um, we, and we got it. Um, you did? He, yep, he is, a, he is an official champion. Obviously and he's, he's a champion. Yep, and he also has a canine good citizen title, which basically means he's a very good citizen, a dog citizen. Now our next journey is going to be to up his game a little bit and see if maybe he can win some best of breeds um, or some points for his grand championship title. Yeah. So the so. Westminster Dog Show, I feel like, is like the, the granddaddy of yes. all dog shows. Yes, it is That's the like, pinnacle. Yes. Yes. What does it take to even be able to get in there? They open up entries and um, it's essentially a lottery system. Um, some of the top dogs are invited. Um, and some the, the other dogs you either get in or you don't. What's the competition going to be like? Uh, in pugs, that's his breed. Um, it's going to be pretty tough. Pugs are a very popular breed, um, and there are a lot of people who fly every weekend all over the country showing their pugs and have lots of advertising and such. So we don't have any of the advertising, and we don't have the flying all over the country. We just have about 950 elementary supporters, <laughs> so we're going to go to represent them. Go Booker! Go! Go! Go Booker! Awesome! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Canine Kate. If you want to track Booker's progress, we're going to be following very closely as he competes in the Westminster Dog Show, and hopefully this man's going to win it all. Reporting from the Puppy Palace, I'm Caitlin Ross. Mm -hmm.